That's a whole lot of firepower. Oh, that smells good. All right, I'm here with another shotgun. Today I have an Ithaca 37 Deer Slayer Police Special. Well, actually, you know what? It's an Ithaca 87. So what's the difference between a 37 and an 87? Not a hell of a lot. Um, this will take a three inch Magnum. It's basically the years that they were made. Um, Ithaca's sort of got a spotty history when it comes to staying in business. And it's changed hands, or the brand has changed hands a few times. And I guess there was some dispute over the actual name Ithaca 37 versus the Ithaca brand. So they just uh, named that an 87. Made in the same plant, same machine, it's probably the same dudes. Um, anyway, well made. Ha uh, it's a well made shotgun. Really quick action. It's based off the Remington 17 design. That's a John Pedersen, John Moses Browning uh, partnership. Sure made a nice shotgun in the model in the model uh, 17 Remington pump gun. Uh, when the Remington 17's patents ran out. Uh, they started making these. They thought the patents ran out in 1933, but John Pedersen held a few extra patents that didn't uh, quite expire till 37. So, thus the name Ithaca 37. Anyway, I'll uh, add uh, the year this one was produced in the notes later on, and maybe we'll look at this one on the table a little longer. Uh, we got some special features on this thing. Uh, you'll notice that it's green. It came from the factory like that. Now this shotgun had been in a movie house for a while and then bought by a private collector. So I don't know if it actually uh, made it to a police department before it was in the movie house, but uh, I think it did. So these came special ordered from the factory in this configuration. Green parkerization on the outside, the high-vis high -vis sights, the rifle sights. Rifle sights have indentations or cutouts so you can put scope rings on it. And it's got wood stock, fore, fore and rear, and they're painted green. It's pretty cool looking. It kind of looks like uh, like a Vietnam special, I guess my friend says. And he was rather enamored by it when he shot it. So, But today we are going to take this, we're going to shoot it down range, we maybe shoot some slugs. It shoots pretty high, and I got the sights set down pretty low, but uh, we'll have some fun with it anyway. And then maybe we'll put some buckshot through it. Cool thing about this one, of course, is it's got the long uh, tube on the bottom. Holds lots of rounds. It's got a uh, seven plus uh, one, so it's an eight round shotgun. And those are always fun to play with. So we're gonna put the safety glasses on, the ears on, turn the camera down range, and see if we can make the gong ring a few times with this at 50 yards. All right. So we're gonna put a couple shells down range and see if we can make some contact on the steel. Oh, what's meatloaf say? Two out of three ain't bad. Well, all right, I think I got two more slugs, so let's see if I can do any damage to that steel plate. Oh, just over the top. Oh, one more buckshot. Bottom eject. It's a good thing. All right, so what I did notice was uh, some shells I can get seven plus one and some shells uh, that are two and three quarter, I can get six plus one. Huh. I got thought of two and three quarters was two and three quarters, but I guess if you ever lined up different brands of shotgun shells and different brands of slugs and buckshot, you can know what I mean. Anyway, let's see what we can do with this thing. Clear! Well, that's a whole hell of a lot of fun.